What would you think if I told you that one of the first motion pictures ever shot was due to a stubborn man in a bet? Well, that's exactly what happened. Stay tuned as we chronicle the history of motion pictures. In this episode, we'll chronicle the birth of the industry from 1877 to 1910. One of the first recorded motion picture moments came from a racehorse breeder named Leland Stanford, governor and Stanford University founder, who claimed that in full stride a racehorse has all four legs off the ground at once, which was pretty impossible to prove with just the naked eye. Leland enlisted Edward Muybridge, a British-American photographer, in 1877. Muybridge set up a string of cameras along the racetrack with wires connected to the shutters. As the horse made its way down the track, its hooves triggered the cameras individually. He set up 12 cameras in total. Muybridge mounted the images on a rotating disc and projected them onto a screen with a magic lantern. The result of this experiment not only proved Mr. Stanford right, but also set the spark for the motion picture industry. Thomas Edison, not wanting to be left behind and also needed a companion to his phonograph, enlisted a young lab assistant to invent the motion picture camera in 1888. He used clock parts to ensure the film moved through the camera at a regular pace. The camera was named the Kinetograph, and it imprinted up to 50 foot of film at the rate of 40 frames per second. Edison wasn't the only person who'd been tackling the problem of recording and reproducing moving images. Inventors throughout the world had been trying for years to devise working motion picture machines. In fact, several European inventors, including the Englishman William Frise Green, applied for patents on various cameras, projectors, and camera projector combinations, even before Edison and his associates did. Because Edison had originally thought of motion pictures as an addition to his phonograph, he didn't commission the invention of a projector to accompany the kinetograph. Rather, he had Dixon design a type of peep show technology, the kinetoscope, in which a continuous 47-foot film loop ran on spools between an incandescent lamp and a shutter for individual viewing. Starting in 1894, Kinetoscopes were marketed commercially through the firm of Raff and Gammon for $250 to $300 apiece. The Edison Company established its own kinetograph studio called the Black Maria in West Orange, New Jersey, which was one of the world's first movie studios. Raff and Gammon were installing these kinetographs in penny arcades, hotel lobbies, amusement parks, and other such places. In April of that year, the first Kinetograph Parlor was opened in a converted storefront in New York City. The parlor charged 25 cents for admission to a bank of five machines. Edison's Kinetoscope pretty much saturated the market. It eventually made its way to an expo in Paris where the Lumiere brothers saw it for the first time. They were inspired to invent their own system, but they wanted something lightweight and portable. This idea would later become Cinemagraph. Not only was it a portable camera, it also could print and be used as a projector, which meant motion pictures no longer had to be shot strictly in a studio. The competition was good for the industry as it helped both sides progress into the future. In 1897, manufacturers began selling films along with projectors to traveling vaudeville acts, fairgrounds, and circus shows. Eventually, the novelty of these short movies wore off. So, the exhibitors got creative by adding live narration, sound effects, and music. It was sort of a primitive form of editing. And you could consider those early projectionists from 1896 to 1904 as directors of motion pictures. A few of them, notably Edwin Porter, 
were hired as directors at production companies in the beginning of the 20th century. Join us next time. We'll highlight the career of Edwin Porter, one of the industry's first directors, and the formation of the Star Film Company, who made over 500 films between 1896 and 1913. I'd like to thank you for checking us out. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more videos just like this. Thank you.